With Update 10, the capabilities of the program manager have been greatly expanded. The number column displays the space number for each individual space. The path column displays the location where each space is saved. Square brackets indicate the design model in which the space was created. The full directory can be displayed by hovering over each space's path. With Update 10, we now have the possibility to enable design options. In the Design Options settings, we have the ability to add multiple design options. We may also speed up the design process by duplicating an existing design option and modifying it. When we do so, we see that the Design Option DGN file is automatically created and located in the same directory. We may easily rename the file directly from the Open Buildings Designer user interface and see that the DGN file in the directory has been renamed as well. We may open the design option file directly from the user interface. Here, we may modify the file as necessary. In the program manager, each design option has a separate tab. Here, we may keep track of spaces across multiple design options and their location by viewing the full directory path. We may also configure rule sets and toggle design validation to compare the created design options. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.